Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we'll be adding transformed shadows to your copy with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. And next you're gonna give this page a name. I'm just gonna call this shadows, but of course you can name your page whatever you want. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. Next, I'm going to build this from scratch, but of course you can use this technique on any existing pages. All you have to do is to add a new section. All right, so now that I've added a section here, I'm going to come over here to my section settings and remove all padding. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing and I'm going to add zero to my padding here and also apply the same to the bottom. Next, we're going to come over here to advanced visibility and then we're going to add our overflow so in this case we're going to add a horizontal overflow to hidden and we're going to do the same to the vertical overflow and then for now we're going to save next i'm going to come over here click this plus button to add our row and what i'm going to go with here is two thirds one third so i'm going to go ahead and select this column structure now let's head over to this is the uh, row settings so i'm going to click here on this gear icon and uh, while I'm here, I'm going to start by adding my gutter width. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing and then I'm going to activate my use gutter width and then I'm going to set this to one. Uh, what I'm basically doing here is to remove the spacing between the columns. All right. So now that I've done that, I'm also going to equalize my column heights and then I'm going to set my width to 100 percent. So I'm going to scroll down here to width and then I'm going to type in 100 percent. And maximum width here needs to be set to 100% as well. So this design now is going to be edge to edge. Now let's head over to the spacing. So I'm just going to scroll down here and click on spacing. Now over here we need to add a left and right padding of 4VW. So to apply this to the right, I'm just going to activate my chain. And then over here for the bottom padding, I'm going to set this to zero. Now it's time to add our module. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to come over here to column one and add a text module. So I'm going to start by searching for it and then select. And then in here, we're just going to add text, which says beautiful. Now let's head over to our text settings and customize this text. So I'm going to click here on text and let me start here with my text font. So here we're going to start with uh, selecting Playfair display. So here it is, I'm going to select it. And for my text alignments, I'm going to align this to the right. Right, so the next thing we're going to do here is to set our color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool. And this color here needs to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So right now, it may seem like it's all disappeared. We're going to fix this in a, in a moment. So over here on the text size, I'm going to set this to 11VW. So this is going to be nice and big. And also here on the uh, text line height, I'm going to set this to 1EM. Now for our text to show, I'm going to add a bit of a shadow here. So the, uh, the option I'm going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. And now you can see that the text is now showing because we've just added this shadow. Now let's customize the shadow as well. So we uh, here we're going to start with our text shadow horizontal uh, length. In fact, it's vertical length. And we're going to set this to 0 0.02 EM. And over here for our blur strength, I'm going to set it to 0 0.6. And then finally for my text shadow, I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color between the brackets. Now, if you want to use the exact same color as I'm using here, I'm going to leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right, so uh, we're just pretty much done here with this design. In fact, let me just make sure I have everything all set. Uh, the one more thing that we need to do here, as you can see here by default, it's set to regular uh, font weight. Let's change this to bold so it is nice and bold. All right, so now that I have that all set, I'm going to save this. And then over here, I'm just going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to go in and just change this word. And uh, instead of saying beautiful, I'm going to set this to view. So pretty much we're done here. But you know what? We're going to add another text module. OK, so I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for text. Select it. Now, again, we're going to add the same word as we did before. We're going to call this beautiful. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to be using this text as the shadow. So let's go ahead and customize this. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to click here on design text. And then I'm going to change my font to Playfair display. 
And we're also going to set this pretty much to the same settings. We're gonna set this to bold. And uh, over here on the text alignment, it's gonna be aligned to the right. And we're also going to add our text color. Now, because this is gonna act as a shadow, it needs to have some form of transparency. So let's come over here to this eyedropper tool, drag the slider down a little bit so that uh, we get the RGBA values. And then we're going to paste our value right now between the brackets. Okay, so now it's um, it's not as uh, prominent as it was before. Now let's head over here to our text size, and we're also going to set this to 11 VW. So we'll go ahead and add that. Now uh, what we're going to do different here is we're going to set our letter spacing to 4.5. So I'm going to come over here by default it's set to zero. So set this to 4.5. And then I'm gonna also set my line height to a one EM. So the next option here is where we're gonna make all the, the, the changes to. So I'm just gonna scroll down over here to my transform. And the, the option we're gonna go here with is transform translate. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And what we're gonna do here is to break this chain. And over here on the right, we're gonna set this to 13.9. And then for the bottom, we're going to set it to 2.1 VW. So I'm going to come over here and set 2.1 VW. Now notice that if I activate the chain, the values here will pretty, pretty much mirror each other. So in order for us to add different values, you need to uh, break this chain. All right, so the next stage now is to go to transform rotate. So I'm going to come over here. And for the center option here, I want to set this to 291 degrees. Next, we're going to go to skew and we're going to add our value again. I'm going to break this chain and add my value over here on the bottom. And that's looking really good. But of course, you can see here, um, this text is not in the right place. It just needs to be above here, this word which says beautiful. So we are going to change this in a moment. So I'm just going to save this. And then I'm just going to drag. In fact, you know what? I'm not really sure what I'm dragging here. So I'm going to click here on these three little dots and go into my wireframe mode. So this is the text that we've just been customizing. I'm just going to drag it over here to the top. And then I'm going to go back to my desktop view. And now you can see our shadow is now applied to the word beautiful. And it is looking beautiful indeed. So since we want to add a shadow to the word uh, views as well. We might as well just use the same design that we've used here and just duplicate it. So again, I'm going to go back over here to my wireframe view. And what we need to duplicate here is the top one. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and then just drag it here to the bottom. And then I am just going to go into my settings, switch over here to wireframe view. And then I'm just going to change this word from beautiful to views. And now this has become the shadow of the word views. And one thing also want to be, we need to do over here is to go to design text and just change our font color here. So I'm just gonna drag the slider all the way up because the text, I mean the uh, color we're gonna add here is a complete full hexadecimal value. So I'm just gonna add that. Now the next stage is to just add a bit of spacing. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and add some margins. So I'm gonna add minus 12. VW and now our text is now closer to our word beautiful. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save. And then over here in column one, we're going to also add some text. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So I'm just going to paste my dummy text in here and just make sure I just have one paragraph. Now let's head over to our text settings. So I'm going to click here on design text. So the first thing we're going to do is to change our text font to open sans. So I'm going to click here on this drop down, select open sans. Now, if your color is not here in the drop down, you might need to search for it over here on the top. It's a Google free font. So go ahead and select open sans. And uh, the text alignment is going to be right. And my text line height is going to be 2.3. So I'm going to come over here and set my 2.3. Now we're going to head over to the width because this is where we're going to make some further changes. So I'm going to click here on sizing. So the first thing we're going to do here is to set our width to 53%. And then for the module alignment, I'm going to align it to the right. And then we're going to save. In fact, you know what this uh, text module needs to be below here. So I'm just going to drag it below here. Right. So the next thing we need to do here is to add a text uh, a button module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Now this could be 
our call to action. So uh, I'm going to, so here I'm gonna insert button. So in this button here, we're going to label this read more. And over here on the link, this is where you want to add a link to your destination. So for now, I'm just gonna add a blank link and then I'm gonna come over here to design. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is to align my button to the right. So that is in line with uh, all the designs that we've done so far. Now to customize the look and feel of our button, we need to come over here to button and activate use custom styles for button. So I'm gonna say yes to that. And then I'm going to start with my button text size. So right now it's set at 20. Uh, pretty much I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna add my button background color. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, and I'm gonna paste my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I've added this, I'm gonna come over here and add my border width. So I'm gonna set this to zero. And for the button border radius, I'm gonna set this to 50, just to change the design a little bit. All right, so for the button text uh, font, I'm gonna change this to Playfair. Now, this is the font that I used earlier on uh, here where it says beautiful in views. So pretty much we're just keeping our design consistent there. All right, so now that I've added my font, as, as you can see, it's not uh, easy to read. So we are going to change the color of our font. So I'm gonna change this to white so it's easier to read. And now you can see here that it's now easier to read. Now let's uh, add a bit of spacing. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing. And I'm gonna start by adding a top margin of two VW. So for the bottom margin, I'm gonna set this to three VW. And then over here for the top and bottom padding, we're gonna set this to 20 pixels. Activate my chain. And then for the left and right padding, I'm gonna set this to 50 pixels. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this to both the left and the right. So now we have a nice big button. All right, so pretty much our button design is done. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now over here on the right side, this is where now we want to add our images. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button and add my first image. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. And then I'm gonna click anywhere around here on this um, default image. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here. Now, take a look here. We also have the size of 682 by 682. So if you wanna use your own images, make sure it's a square and these are the dimensions. I'm gonna click upload an image. Now I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, and I'm gonna force full width. And then over here on the spacing, I just need to add some margin to the top of this image. So I'm gonna set two VW as my margin there. And then we're also going to do a bit of a style to our image. So I'm gonna come over here to border. Now in order for this image here to be in a circle, we need to apply rounded corners. And the value I'm gonna use here is 50 VW. And notice that this has been applied to all the sides because my chain is activated. If I deactivate this chain, you'll notice that the 50 VW will only be applied to the side which I add the value to. So now we have a perfect circle. So we're also going to go ahead and add a shadow to our design here. So I'm gonna to go to box shadow and the option I'm gonna go with is this one right here. So I wanna start with my horizontal position, set this to minus 300. And for my vertical position, it's pretty much gonna be the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here. And then I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go in and add my color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my values of my transparency between the brackets. And then pretty much I'm gonna save. Right, so as you can see, our design here is really coming together. Let's go ahead and add another image. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and search for my image module and select it. Click here around this um, dummy image. And the image I'm gonna go with is pretty much this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And again, my size here is 768 by 768. Upload an image. Right, so here we are going to uh, adjust the sizing a little bit here. So I'm gonna click here on design, sizing. So here for the width, I'm gonna set this to 62%. And as we did before, we would like to see our image here in a circle. So I'm gonna come over here to border and add 50 VW. Now, just one quick note here. If you don't use a square image, you won't have a perfect circle when it comes to achieving this, um, this design right here. So you need to make sure you have a circle. And then if you add your rounded corners, they then will form the complete circle. Now, as we did before, we're also going to add a box shadow. So I'm gonna come over here and choose the same design as we chose before 
And then I'm going to start with my horizontal position and set this to minus 200. And then I'm also going to add a vertical position of 150. So I'm going to add it in here. And then I'm going to add my shadow color by clicking here on this eyedropper tool. Now this time, this is going to be a solid color. So I'm just going to drag all this, the slider all the way up and then paste my value. Right, so the next stage is to come over here to my transform options. And I'm going to go to transform translate. And what I'm going to do here, here is I'm going to first start by breaking this chain because the values I'm going to add. So I'm going to start by breaking this chain because the values I'm going to add here are both different. So I'm going to start by adding minus 13 VW. And then over here on the bottom, I want to set this to 19 VW. So pretty much this is our final design. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this page one more time and then exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please leave your questions in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.